the cord. Awesome. Now let's go here. Um, all right. Can you guys see? Yes? Thumbs up? All right, awesome. All right, let me just make sure everybody's muted. Okay. All right, awesome. So we're going to go over um, a little bit of everything. Retailing, coach placement, um, kind of where to put people, how it affects your income, the best way to grow your team, kind of go over um, more of the logistics of um, growing your beach body business, kind of the back end stuff, not so much um, about inviting and, and that kind of stuff, more about how to physically do everything. So first I want to talk about retailing. So when you're, an, when you first start coaching, you sell a lot of retail and you are selling um, challenge packs and you're selling programs and you're selling Shakeology to people who are interested. You start retailing in the beginning um, to kind of build your customer base, to start building a following, to um, get some people that you're actually working with one-on-one. -on -one. So retailing is means just when you sell a product to a customer, they'll um, order it through your link and then you receive a 25% uh, commission. Uh, Team Beachbody is not a retailer. So you're not in this to sell retail. Like you don't want to compete against, you know, beachbody.com and you're not, you know, you're not in this to sell a product. You're not in this to sell a lot of products. You're in this to sell somebody a product and help change their lives and transform them into, you know, them being a part of what we're doing. Um, so all of Team Beachbody is based on a networking and, and growing your business, but you cannot solely focus on retailing because you will burn out. You will go through all of your contact list and then you will um, kind of be like at this point where you're like, I don't know what to do. I'm not really converting my, my customers into coaches. I'm not, I'm just kind of stuck. And then too, once you're retailing, it's only you. So whatever you sell, that's your income you're getting. So I want you to not solely focus on retailing because that means you're only doing the work. Once you start growing a team, you've just multiplied your success by however many people that you, you add onto your team. So yes, we are, we sell retail, but I don't want you to focus a hundred percent on um, selling retail. Uh, okay. So I wanted to go a little bit over about ranks, why you need to rank advance, um, first of all, you need to rank advanced to Emerald right away. It needs to be your 30 day goal. You want to rank advanced to Emerald, which means you're signing up two coaches, one on your left leg, one on your right leg. And that means you've activated your business. You've actually started really growing your, your team. You, you signed up, hopefully your spouse or your family members in the, in the top two spots, because if you're in this to make a significant income, if you're in this to grow um, a business, to provide for your family, you need to get to Emerald right away. Because once you get to an Emerald rank, that means you start earning an income, not only from yourself, but from everyone who is underneath you, even if they're not your personally sponsored coaches. If you go into your graphical genealogy and you see coaches underneath you, you are making an income off of them. So your first goal is to get to Emerald as fast as you can. I said, up my husband and I signed up my sister-in-law right away. I when I started actively working the business, then by like two days later, I was emerald because um, my coach had explained to me that you know you start making an income off of the people underneath you, you just have to sign up two people. So I was in it right away, started making an income um, from the people underneath you. So definitely, if you're not a group and not an emerald coach yet. That has to be your top goal. 30 days from now, you need to be a Ruby, um, I'm Ruby coach, I keep saying Ruby, Emerald coach. Um, so Emerald is so important because you activate your business. So not only do you start making income off of everybody underneath you, you're now eligible to earn success club leads and customer leads. Um, you also start accumulating uh, bonuses from your team volume. That's how you earn an income from people underneath you. Um, so there's two different, um, ways to get leads as an Emerald coach. First of all, you have to hit success club five. So you have to be an Emerald coach and you have to hit success club five 
in order to get a customer lead from Beachbody. Now they're just updating it starting in April. Yes, starting in April. Uh, so I think April's the last month to hit it. Yeah. So you need to get Success Club 5 and be an Emerald Coach in order for Beachbody to give you customer leads. And what that customer leads are, they're anybody who orders from Beachbody.com, anybody who orders off of an infomercial, Beachbody gives us those customers because Beachbody's whole core purpose is to help people um, you know, achieve their goals and live, live a healthy, fulfilling life. So they want the person who's ordering in an infomercial at three o'clock in the morning to have access to a coach who's going to help them. So they're not going to give a customer just to anybody. They, they you know, used to have to just be an Emerald coach and now they've upped it to Emerald and Success Club 5 because when they are handing out a customer to, to us, which no other MLMs do, they, you know, if, if um, a company had ordered, had sold the product from an infomercial, they wouldn't give the customers away. They would keep them on their own. Like Beachbody.com would keep them. And so the great thing about Team Beachbody is they actually give us those customers. So that is a great bonus of um, being a coach. So Emerald Coach Success Club 5 in order to get your customers from um, customer leads. And what happens is, is Beachbody gives you those customers. So when they give you that customer, that first initial purchase, whatever they bought, you don't get a commission from. But anything after that first initial sale, that, that you will get a commission from. And now we just know that um, the Beachbody uh, on demand just lost. So I mean, just launched. Um, so all of those people um, who want to try it out, if they're going to, you know, they're sending out emails, they're advertising for it, it's in, you know, on every program now, um, they're going to give all those customers away because they're signing up with a, um, a club membership. So a club membership would fall under this customer lead program. So you definitely want to be an Emerald coach and hit Success Club 5 um, in order to get these customers. Now the Success Club leads, they just up this now. So now you have to get Success Club 10 in order to get a Success Club lead for the following month. Um, there's just so many coaches that we've grown so quickly now that you, it used to be Success Club 5 and uh, uh, to, to get a Success Club lead, but now they've up to Success Club 10. So I feel, you know, you're helping five people, you're hitting Success Club, and you are getting a Shakeology lead, which in turn turns to a $32 commission a month. So if you are hitting Success Club 10 without a problem, that's great. You're just getting an extra $32 bonus a month. You'll get a Success Club lead the following month. If you are not and you feel like Success Club 10 is stressing me out, don't worry about it. Just focus on getting Success Club 5, being an Emerald coach. You're only missing out on a $32 commission a month if you're not hitting Success Club 10. So if you feel like, you know, very overwhelmed by this new um, adjustment, don't worry about it. Don't freak out about it. Just hit Success Club 5, get your leads, get your customer leads, and don't worry about the Shakeology leads. Um, so the Success Club lead, the Shakeology leads, you actually do get the commission right away. You won't get the volume points for it, and you won't get the Success Club points for it if they order a challenge pack or if they order um, Shakeology on Home Direct. But um, you get the commission for it right away. So you get that $32 commission in your, in your, in your future paycheck. That was nice. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Um, team volume. So everything, my income is solely based on volume now. I am not a big retailer. I never was. Um, my income comes from my team and comes from um, my income now that I have a second business center. Once you become a two-star diamond, you get to sign up yourself again underneath yourself. So all of my retail now goes in my second business center and that accumulates all my team volume. So team volume is just kind of Beachbody's way of assessing um, a point system for the product that it is. So every uh, item is assigned a volume point. It's PV, it's a personal volume, and it's also assigned 
team volume. Now the team volume and the personal volume, the PV is not always the same. Um, Shakeology is always the same, so it's 90 PV and 90 T, uh, TV, which is team bonus, uh, team volume, which you get your team bonuses on. Um, challenge packs, um, you, you can see their PV, like the $140 challenge pack is 105 PV, so you'll see that in your personal volume points, but in your team volume, it's only 35 points, and that the team volume is what um, you make this, the cycle bonuses on. So you won't see the team volume. So like if you sold a $140 challenge pack, you wouldn't see the team volume. Your upline coach sees the team volume because they're getting bonuses off of your volume. So you might see your coaches placed underneath you and they sell a challenge pack. So you'll see like in the sponsorship drill down, you'll see their PV. Um, but then if you click on the legs volume, um, the right leg and left leg, if you click on those numbers and the, it'll bring up their name, that, that number is not going to match the number from the PV. That's because the, uh, the number in sponsorship drill, drill down is their personal volume and the number on the legs when you click on left leg and right leg is their team volume. So sometimes if you're doing recognition uh, or if, if somebody's doing recognition for you and you see that whatever number they put up is not always matching, they might not be using personal volume, they might be using team volume. And that's why there's um, a little bit of a difference in the numbers. And so the team volume is what you earn your team bonus cycles on. All right, bonus cycles. This is where it's at. This is why you need to get to Emerald. This is why you need to rank advance. This is why you need to be a business owner and not a retailer. And a business owner is somebody who understands all of this and it's not something you're gonna get on the first day. It's gonna take some time to understand it and legs and placement and where to put people and how it all works. Um, so definitely don't feel like I need to learn it all in one day because that's not how it works. But bonus cycles is where your real income will start taking off because it is now not only you doing your job, you've just multiplied yourself times 10 or times 100, depending on how many people you have underneath you. So 97 of my income now comes from team bonus cycles. Uh, this is where your guaranteed income will come from. So I know every single week that my income will not go below a certain number because of how much I have grown my team and my team has grown and they have grown and they have grown and it kind of just keeps on growing. So um, retailing, you can retail to your blue in the face and I, I promise you, you're not going to make over five, 600 bucks a week if you literally are busting your butt selling challenge packs. Um, so yes, retail to, to gain a, a customer base, to gain people to work with, but this can't be a retail business. We're not salespeople, we're, we're business owners. So this is, um, it, seems, it seems small in the beginning. So a team bonus cycle is when your legs, um, one leg has to hit 200 in volume and the other leg has to hit 100 in volume. Every time that happens, you're going to get a bonus cycle from it once you're an Emerald Coach. So Emerald Coach gets $14, Ruby $16, and Diamond $18. And it seems very insignificant to make $18 on a bonus cycle. But that can happen up to Emerald Coach is up to $250, a Ruby Coach is up to $1,000, and a Diamond Coach is up to $2,000 a week that you can make just on bonus cycles alone. So you could be an Emerald Coach making $250 off of your team plus whatever retail you're making. Or you could be a Ruby Coach making $1,000 off of your team and whatever you retail. So this is really where your income will start to be very significant. But you have to be willing and not be scared to grow a team because you, if you're in this and you know you really want to change your life and change your your family's life, you have to be willing to invite people into this business. Um, and also, the great thing too is once you're an Emerald Coach, Beachbody will bank any extra volume that you don't use. So, say your volume was like in the picture, it was 540 on your left leg and 200 on your right leg. That means you earn two bonus cycles and you'll earn an extra $28 um, in the following week's paycheck. Now, there's 140 um, 
team volume left over for your left leg. And what Beachbody will do is Beachbody will bank that for you. So next week, you're already starting with 140 on your left leg. So once that gets to 200 and your right leg gets to 100, you have already earned another bonus cycle. So that is the great thing about Emerald's coaches. Once you hit Emerald, they will start banking that for you until you can use it. And the only way you can lose your banked volume is if you go inactive. So you never, never, never want to go inactive once you become an Emerald coach because you can have, I have like 2 million in volume that's banked because I actually have a really, really strong leg. Um, but you never want to go inactive because you lose that. So say you sign up somebody, you know, say you have all of this banked volume on your, on your strong leg. Say you have 5,000 in your bank and you sign up somebody like Melanie Metro and they end up to be on your weak leg. Once they start taking off, that week where, where you can use that bonus, that banked volume, they'll give it to you all in one week. So it is so incredibly important to get to Emerald and to never go inactive once you have become an Emerald coach. Oh, Jesus. I just changed that name. Okay, weak leg and strong leg. Oh, my God. Sorry. The mouse is going crazy. All right. So everyone will have a weak leg and a strong leg. And your weak leg and strong leg doesn't come from you. It comes from your upline. It comes from where you're placed in the genealogy. Um, a <clears throat> A strong leg means that it's the leg where coaches above you place coaches underneath you. They're not your personally sponsored coach, so you don't, they don't help you rank advance, but they do help build your volume. So if you go into your graphical genealogy and you see people's names there that you have no idea who they are, that will be your strong leg and that will be coaches from people above you placing coaches underneath you because everybody has to place somebody in the next spot down. So one leg is naturally going to grow from, from people above you and then all the people that you sign up or people that they sign up. Um, so one leg will naturally go and then one leg will not grow. One leg you will have to um, focus on building yourself. Now, you could be stuck on an inside leg of somebody who's not really working the business, and that will mean that you will just have to work both legs. And it's just kind of how it is and where you got placed, and not everybody knows what they're going to do when they sign up, and not everybody gets a strong leg or a super strong leg, or not everybody gets coaches placed underneath them. But if you do have a strong leg and you do get help um, from your upline coach, then you'll see you'll see people underneath you. If you don't, if you're placed on an inside leg of a non-working coach, then it's just something that you're just going to have to build both legs by by yourself. Um, your weak leg is your responsibility to build. No one above you is going to place a coach on your inside leg. So your inside leg, your responsibility. This prime spot is where you want your family. You want your family, your husband, your parents, your sister, your, anybody that you know that may eventually want to do what you're doing, you want to sign them up and you want to put them in that top spot of your weak leg. Because down the line, once you start growing your team, you're going to put every single person underneath that first person. So that first spot on your weak leg is the perfect spot um, for your family because they're going to benefit from everything you do with that point forward. So I want you to, if you have not signed up your spouse or your family members yet, sign them up and give them that top spot. That's going to help you get to Emerald, and it's going to help you activate your business, and you're going to start making an income off of them. Um, and then they're going to get, you know, a challenge back, and they're going to start on their health and fitness journey, even if they don't want to keep up the Shakeology. Pay the $15, $95 a month to keep them in that spot. Even if they go inactive, that spot, once you really get going in this business and once you become a diamond coach, and then you rank advance and you get a diamond. And once you go into the star diamond ranks, that top spot on your weak leg is where you're eventually going to place your next business center. So that top spot is the best spot that you can have. Now, if you have already signed up your spouse or your family and they went on the other leg, that is okay too. Jose is on my strong leg because I didn't know when we started this. Nobody explained all this leg stuff to us. Um, so he's, a, he's in a good spot on my strong leg, and that just means he has a very strong leg. So it's good to, you know, we make a, an income off of him, and then, you know, we have built his inside leg. 
Um, so it's, it's okay if you, you know, if your spouse is on your strong leg, we'll just have to build a little differently and we could talk more. But if you have not, or you, um, are ready to sign up your spouse or family members, that's the top spot in your weak leg is, um, the spot you want them to go in. So here is kind of the big picture of how it works. So you have you at the top, you have your strong leg, you have your spouse or family member at the top spot of your weak leg. And like I said before, everything that you do after your first coach and anything that any of those coaches do is going to benefit your spouse. And then what you can do is once you become a diamond coach, you build not only the outside of your weak leg, but you build your spouse's weak leg also. And like I said before, your second business center, once you rank advanced to two star diamond and you get to sign up yourself again, that's where you're going to put your second business center. You're going to duplicate yourself again. So then everything you do, it's like you're starting brand new from day one. Um, your second business center, you have to put two people in that rank advances to emerald and then ruby and then diamond. And But then the benefit of that is everything that you do in your second business center not only benefits your second business center that you earn a commission on, your spouse's weak leg earns a commission and a bonus cycle on, and then your first business center where it says you at the top earns a bonus cycle on everything that you do underneath it. So that's why getting to Emerald, signing up your family right away is the most important thing you can do because you want that spot for your future. Like I said, if you can't afford to have two bags of Shakeology a month to keep that spot active, that's okay. I don't ever want you to be feel like it's a burden and um, you have to, you know, dish out two hundred and something dollars a month to keep this spot. If you can't truly can't afford it, that's perfectly fine. You can actually um, move one of your sales to your spouse's account to keep them active because as just an active coach, you just need 50 PV to stay active. So they can stay active from a customer sale in that account and that'll still keep you at Emerald and you're still earning all of the, um, the commission and all the bonus cycles, and everything on it. And then that spot is in that, that spouse is in a top spot for you to build from in your future from when you get to second to Sir Diamond and you get to open your second business center um, and the great thing too about when you place your second business center um, underneath this now if you are totally lost I'm very sorry uh, it's kind of just learn as you go kind of thing um, but once you open your second business center you can put anything you want underneath it you can put coaches from your first business center from your spouse's business center you know you can sign them up as coaches anywhere you all get new coach IDs and new emails uh, but the great thing is is you get to physically place your coaches underneath your second business center which is going to benefit your second business center your spouse and your first business center so for an example if you sell a Shakeology in your second business center as your second business center so mine is like Ashley Reyes too so when I sell a Shakeology in Ashley Reyes too not only do I earn the commission on it the $32 I also earn a bonus cycle on it so now instead of getting a $32 commission on my Shakeology sale I get a $32 commission plus an $18 bonus cycle so now I just upped my Shakeology sale to not be $32 now it's $50 so that's why it's so important to rank advance, and that's why it's so important to um, invite people to to you know come into your business and to to be a coach. And I know it's scary, and I know it's you know you don't know everything, and you don't know what to say, and you don't want to sound salesy, and you know. But honestly, like if you're in this and you're like, I need an extra income, I need an extra thousand dollars a month, I need five hundred dollars a month, I need to do this. You have to let all of that fear go and just invite them. If they never do anything with the business, if they quit, if they go to Diamond and then quit, that it doesn't matter. Your only job is to get them in the door and expose them to this world because you don't know even what they could need in their life. You know, they could really need an extra hundred dollars a month or two hundred dollars a month or a thousand dollars a month, or you know, maybe their spouse got laid off, or maybe they got laid off, or maybe they're on maternity leave, but whatever. There's so many things that can happen where people need an extra income. So this is your your job it's your you know due diligent to invite people into this business 
Um, because not only do we get healthy, get filled, fit, we have a great community, we have fun, we get on calls, we're very supportive of each other. You know, this is a serious business that can really change your family's life and their family's life. But if you're scared to invite them into this business, then they're missing out and you're missing out. So invite everyone to be a coach. Invite every single one, every single person, you know, invite them to be a coach. Get them on a coach opportunity call. Get them, you know, in a five-day sneak peek. Talk to them. Meet them for coffee. Even if you explain the whole thing and they don't want to do it, at least you've invited. That's all you're ever going to be able to control in this business is inviting people. You can't make the decision for them. You can't, you know, get upset if they say yes or if they say no or if they don't answer you. Your only job is to invite as many people as you can. And when you're inviting them, especially when you're inviting into the business, talk about it like a business. Talk about how it's helping you, how it's put gas in your car, how it's paid a bill, how it's let you go on vacation, how whatever the business has done for you, it doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be significant. They just have to see that it's changing you and your lifestyle is changing and you're happier and you're, you know, you're healthier and you're more fit. And you're like, wait a minute. I don't know what this speech writing thing is. I don't know what she's talking about all day. She drinks some shake, but she just went on vacation and came home to a paycheck. Like, that's a big deal, especially to somebody who is in the service industry. I was a hairdresser. You went on vacation, you made no money. And you also your clients for that week that went, so went to somebody else. So, like, you don't know what other people are dealing with. So your only job is to invite them into the business and talk about it like a business. Make a business post. I'm looking for people who want to end their 9 to 5. I'm looking for people who want to be on $5,000 in debt by the end of the year. I'm looking for people just... You know, whatever it is that Beach Buddies helped you do, that's what you put out there because you're attracting people like you and people are following you because of you. So that's all you have to do. You have to share just what it's doing for you and how your life is changing. Um, success Club. This is um, Success Club 5 over four months. So this is why hitting Success Club is so incredibly important because in four months, you're making over $1,000. This is by hitting Success Club 5 every single month, selling two challenge packs a month and one Chicology Home Direct. And you're making $1,000 in four months. So think about a brand new coach, right? Brand new, just signed up. Maybe he's went through a challenge group, maybe has not. But not only are they earning their initial investment back, they're making $1,000. Like, that's a big deal. Like, who wouldn't want to be excited and want to keep going in something that you're making, you know, $132 your first month, $229 your second month, $327 your fourth. You know, like, wouldn't you want that for somebody else? Wouldn't you want them to be excited about coming into your team, being a coach on your team, being a part of what we're doing? And not only are they getting emotionally filled and their life is changing, but they're seeing an actual result at the end of the day. So I know it's to be push success club because that's kind of like our baseline of being a coach is success club. And I know it feels like pressure sometimes. You're like, oh God, I have to have success club every single month. But this is what's going to change your business. This is what's going to bring you home from your job. This is what's going to change your life is hitting success club consistently over time. And not only for yourself, you want to duplicate that in people that you're bringing onto your team. You want them to feel excited about what they're doing and, you know, seeing the result. Like nobody wants to sign up a coach and then, you know, in six months they hit Success Club 5 for the first time. They've already lost six months of paying $150 a month. You know, they're not as excited. If you get them and, and teach them the way and show them how to invite and get them in a challenge group, if you run a challenge group um, for, for your team, and um, uh, invite them into it and, and you invite them um, to be a participant and, and invite somebody else into it. And then when somebody gets excited about their results and they ask them questions, then they're going to order from them, you know, and then they get success club too. And you're like, okay, great. You're at success club too. Like invite somebody else to the challenge group and let's, you know, see who else you can help. Like let's write a list of all your contacts. Like you can help somebody else, but you have to think of Success Club as 
non-negotiable. I'm in it. I, I'm hitting Success Club 5 consistently. I'm helping three people a month, you know, sell a challenge pack and don't look at it as the numbers. You're, you're helping somebody change their life. You're inviting them into your world. So don't, if you're stressed out about Success Club, your team is going to be stressed out about Success Club. If you're like Success Club 5 is no, is no big deal, I'm hitting Success Club 5 by the middle of the month every month, then your team is going to duplicate what you do. You're setting the pace. You're setting the bar for what your team is going to do. Um, so Success Club, I, I, I never felt like Success Club was hard. There's been months, months where I've missed it, uh, but I never feel like, Helping three people is hard. It's not, it's not hard to me. Even if I talk to 50 people and they say no, you know, somebody's going to say yes. One out of 10 is going to say yes. So you need to talk to, you know, at least 30 people a month to get three yeses. Jeez, this mouse is crazy. I never hit the mouse. All right. So this is my first year as a coach. So I started coach, coaching in early um, 2012. My first paycheck was $64. That's when I signed up. Um, we, didn't even, we didn't even have challenge packs when I signed up. So I signed up Jose with um, Shakeology and Rafalina. So that was my two Shakeology um, commissions from, from my first week. Uh, then the next week, uh, my mom passed away. So I kind of took a break. Um, but then I kind of jumped back in. Uh, the first month I had a coach quit. So I was like, you know, okay, somebody quit. It's not for them, you know, but if I would have stopped right then at my second month when somebody quit on me, I wouldn't be where I am today. So then I, um, you know, I completed Turbo Fire. I was so excited. I got my first fast start bonus, which they used to do before challenge packs came out is when you signed up a coach with Shakeology on Home Direct. If you signed up five in five weeks, they gave you a hundred dollar bonus. Um, so I was so excited to do that. Uh, the beginning of um, April, I went diamond. So then my income kind of started growing because I had a team. I was leading a team. And then my coaches were duplicating what I was doing. So they were, you know, getting to Admiral. They were signing coaches. They were signing their spouse. Um, I completed the ultimate reset. Every time you complete a program and you have before and afters that you can share, your business grows because they're seeing you. People are following you because of you. So if you're being the product of the product and you're showing them, I did ultimate reset for 21 days and here's my day one and here's my day 22 and this is what I did and this is how I ate and they followed you and they saw it. They want to do what you're doing because they can see it. Um, so in May, I covered my rent in, for my first month. I went to Summit as one star. Lena went diamond. I went to my first summit and I was, while I was there, you know, your business grows. People want to be a part of your lifestyle. They see what you're doing. They, you know, they ask questions, they message you, you kind of, you're putting this out there and they want to be a part of what you're doing. So you can see my income grew once you get, once you get to events. Um, in August, I made uh, more in my for my team bonus cycles than I did retail. So it does take a little bit of time to build up your team bonus cycles. It's not overnight that all of a sudden your team is going to make more money in your bonus cycles than, than what you make retailing. But if you're consistently growing and you're consistently hitting success club and doing challenge groups and inviting people to what you're doing, eventually your team is going to duplicate what you do. Um, then in September, I found out I was pregnant with Logan and quit. I was like, I'm done. I, you know, I just lost 50 pounds. I was so excited. I was like finally getting fit. And then I found I was pregnant and I was just like, I couldn't handle it. Like nobody I knew at that time had been pregnant and been a coach. So I'm like, I don't, I don't know what to do. Like with Austin, I gained like 65 pounds and I ate junk and I, you know, I was just like freak out moment. So from September until November, or yeah, November, I was like MIA. I was like not into it, you know. Then, so yeah, so I missed Success Club in September and, and October. And then it was, um, you had to qualify for the Success Club trip, and we were going to Disney. And I had hit Success Club every single month besides then. You had to get Success Club nine months out of the year. So I had to hit Success Club the last two months of the year in order to, to get to go on the trip for free. So then that was it. I was like, I'm back in it. I'm not going to miss this trip. I'm going to bring uh, – I was pregnant with Logan. I was like, I'm going to bring Austin on this trip. Oh, my God, this mouse. Um, I'm going to bring him on the trip. 
and we're gonna have a great time. Um, so I just decided I'm going in. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna invite people. I'm gonna start all over. I'm just gonna share my journey. I'm gonna be pregnant and I'm gonna be a coach and I don't know how it's gonna work out. Um, and, and I did, I, I, I hit Success Club, I earned the Disney trip, I was so excited. And then that was the end of my first year and I didn't really, you know, end my first year as, as I thought I would, you know, in the middle of the year, I was doing great and I was excited, but then life happens. So like, it's not always gonna be this perfect straight hill up to the top of, of success. You're not gonna always make more money the next week than you did the week before. It's like, you know, an up and down, up and down, up and down the whole way through. So, uh, but I just decided, you know what, I'm in it and I loved it. And I loved being a part of the team and I loved to grow it, grew a team. And I loved, you know, we went to Disney and I got to hang out with these people and um, we went to Summit and it was just, I knew it's where I wanted to be. I just had to figure it out for myself because like I said, nobody was pregnant um, that I knew that I did it. So I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to work out when I can. I'm going to drink my shakes and I'm just going to share my journey. So this was my first year as a coach. I mean, it was good. I, I feel like it wasn't so super great to write home about. I didn't go, you know, five star diamond didn't have, you know, this big significant thing, but it was good for me. And it, you know, it was consistent. And, you know, when we got our W2, our 1099s at the end of the year, I was like, and also, yeah, I had owned a hair salon and I had worked full time. I brought Austin to the salon with me and then I was pregnant, bringing Austin to the salon and working full time and working 45 minutes away from my house. So 45 minutes to work, 45 minutes home from work. Um, so <clears throat> I thought that was pretty good working part time. I would work beach body um, an hour in the morning before Austin got up, an hour before we had to get up and start our day. And then at night, like now, like from nine to 10, maybe excuse me, nine to 11, um, mm -hmm. is when I worked my business. I was doing hair all day. So I wasn't at a job where I could sit down and be on my phone or be on the iPad and talk to people and have conversations. I was in a field where I had to use my hands. So I couldn't, you know, I couldn't build my business on social media during the day. It was one hour in the morning and maybe an hour or two at night, but I was consistent. I did it every single day. And that is what has changed our income, um, to get us where we are now. So this is how your income goes. This was from last year. This was um, the end of February last, uh, 2014. So 2012, I had started in January. So my income that week was $210. And now my retail commission was 112. And then my team bonus was 98. Fast forward to the following year, my retail commission is now $284. And my team bonus now has grown to $342. So that's how it grows when you start building a team and they start building a team and they start building a team and it just keeps growing and growing underneath you. That's where the majority of your income comes from. It comes from your team, but you have to be willing to put it out there. You have to be willing to, I'm going to grow a team. I'm going to invite people to be a coach. I'm going to, you know, not be scared. I'm not going to be scared not going to feel like, well, I'm being salesy and they're going to feel like I'm selling them. No, you're inviting them to this greatest opportunity ever. Like, I don't know how anybody could work a regular job. Like I can never go back to working a regular job and getting paid, you know, $15 an hour. Cause like, how could you set a value on your specific time? Like, how could you say I'm only worth $15 an hour when you get into a business like this and you could sell a challenge pack an hour and make $56 an hour. So like I, me, I don't understand how anybody would go from being a coach and, you know, earning an income and then going back to, you know, to the, to the nine to five or trading dollars for hours here. Um, so then the same week, uh, last year, 2014, my team bonus grew to over $1,200 and my retail commission was only $64. It's two Shakeology sales. Um, so this is how your income and growing a team compacts over time. Um, yeah, so this was last year. And then in the beginning of the year, I had already made in the first one, two, three, four, five months, I already made more than I did the, the, the year before. So, okay, my total is here. So 2012, I earned $13,973. And then the following year, it doubled. It went to 30,000. And then last year, I ended at 117,000. 
So that's how it, ink, it compacts and grows over time. It's not something where you get a dollar raise or you get a 15 cent raise an hour. This is something that you involve more people and they involve more people and they involve more people and it just keeps growing like this whole incredible team. That's how your income grows. So it's not like, you know, I'm going to get a hundred dollar year raise. No, you're going to get a significant raise a hundred percent raise 200 percent raise if you are following these simple basic steps of hitting success club and having your team hit success club that's how it grows over time any of the top leaders you'll see every single one success club legend success club all-star that is the the cornerstone of building a beach body business um, this might be the same thing. Oh, this is, this is the same kind of thing, but this is in August. So my first year, two hundred twenty-six dollars. Uh, two hundred twenty-six dollars. The uh, the same week, uh, the following year, six hundred seventy-five dollars, and then last year was two thousand six hundred and fifty-seven dollars. And you can see my my retail sales don't change significantly. I'm only retailing a few things, and that, those retails basically are people that are on Shakeology Home Direct as a customer, mostly from customer leads or Shakeology leads that just have been on Shake. I've had a customer lead that has been on Shakeology since I started and he gets two bags of Shakeology a month and has ordered every single program, doesn't want to be a coach, gets two bags a month. Um, he's done the ultimate reset. He's got every program that works out, just wants to be a customer and wants no part, nothing to do with this. So that kind of stuff that compounds over time, those customers that love the product and just want to be a customer, don't want to be a coach, that's where you're making all that income from. Um, but if you're not an animal coach and you're not hitting success club, you're not getting those, those customers. So that's why you need to really get to Emerald and, and hit success club every single month. Uh, <clears throat> two, all of the top coaches were a lead. Like Lindsay Matway was a lead. She called Beachbody and got placed under a, a coach um, who hit success club and uh, was a diamond coach because you have to be a diamond coach for, for them to give out a coach. But that, um, Sheba Latifi, I don't know if you guys know her, she was a lead. Um, Melanie was in a lead. But there's a lot of people who are leads who are sig making significant amounts of money with Beachbody. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, so that was just another example of how growing your team is going to change your income. And then this was last, the last week in, uh, or the first week in March, like the last week of February, first week in March. <clears throat> that is the biggest week in Beachbody. So this is how my income has grown over time that week. My, uh, it was my second year was $690. And the same thing, my commission and my retail, um, my team bonus and my retail was almost similar. Then last year, retail sold one, Mega Shakeology. Team bonus, oh, oh, $2,430. And then this year, you know, my retail, $54, sold a few things, team bonus, over $5,500 from growing your team. So I hate, not, I, I don't hate sharing income, but I know that when I was on calls like this and Lindsay would show her income, I was like, I can't believe she's making this money doing this job. And I was just so motivated by seeing this income growth and seeing how it compounds over time. And I just remember being like, how is she even making $3,000 a week? That is just, who makes $3,000 a week doing this? Like it was so crazy. And then it starts happening and you're like, oh my God, this is like a real thing. Like this is for real. Like crazy stuff happens, but you, so I hate showing it because I don't want to ever come across like, oh, this is what I'm making and da da da. And no, but I want to show it to you guys because I know for me, seeing this in somebody else that I knew personally made it real and made it seem like, oh my God, I can do this. I can be there next year. I can be making $2,700 a week next year. Because you can, it all changes every single year, but you have to be willing to do the work over the year. If this is not a business where overnight you're just going to start making a thousand dollars a week, it's something that you have to put the work in. And on the bottom is oh, this mouse again. Here we go. Um, 
the bottom is my volume, how the volume grows every single year from growing a team and from your team growing a team and them growing a team and them growing a team and, you know, just keeps on going. Um, my strong leg, uh, 2013, it was uh, ninth, almost 10,000 and my weak leg was 1,600. Uh, then, then it went from 9,000 9, to 80,000 and it went from 1,600 to 13,000. That's how it grows. It's not something that just goes up a little bit. It goes up a lot. And then it stays up. Like once, once you pass this week or last week, your income, your volume doesn't go back down. It keeps going up and up and up. And then about summit, it, you know, you kind of like go up, up, up and plateau. And then summit, it goes up again. And then it kind of stays the same, stays the same kind of for the rest of the year. The end of the year is hard. But then the beginning of the year, you have this big surge again and your numbers go up. So you, like I said, you know, I can't like drill this enough. You have to be willing to put in the work. This is not something that just, you know, you're a coach sometimes. Sometimes you post your workouts. Sometimes you drink your shake. Sometimes you're in. Sometimes you're out. That's not that won't reflect these kind of numbers. These kind of numbers reflect, you know, consistency. I'm going to hit success club. I'm going to bring in coaches. I'm going to do a training. I'm going to get on team calls every single night of the week, or I'm going to do a 5 a.m. team call. If that's what you have to do for your team. But this, I want to show you guys just to show you, like, it's really a real thing. If you're willing to put in the work and you're willing to stay consistent, you're willing to give up your TV and give up your, you know, your junk food and whatever your kind of thing is that's keeping you out of your way. I promise you, once you give it up and you say, you know, that 30 minutes that you're going to watch a show on Sunday night, if you work your Beachbody business for that 30 minutes consistently, you get your invites, you do your meal prep, whatever you have to do for your business, your business is going to grow. But if you don't, if you sit and watch, you know, Family Guy or whatever kind of TV thing is on, I don't, we don't even have TV, so I don't even know, but your business is not going to grow. And it's just, you know, your income will always be a direct reflection of how many lives you change. It's always going to be, you work this hard, you get this result. That's how this business works. It's not like, you know, you might be able to go show up to your job and not do anything for the day and still get to go home to a paycheck. That's not how this is. This is a direct reflection of your work. So rank advance, emerald, get to emerald, get to diamond. If, you, if you've been a coach for a while, it's time to get to diamond. That jump from $14 in team bonus cycles to $18 in team bonus cycles is a big jump. And you also go from $250 a week max to $2,000 a week max. So it is a big deal to rank advance. Now, you don't want to rank advance with you know, to eight discount coaches and not people who are going to work the business. Yes, you want discount coaches to, you know, get people in and teach them the business, but there's not something you can focus your whole entire business on. I'm just going to sign people up for the discount. And then when they leave, I'm going to replace them. And it's like a house of cards. Once one person goes out, you're going to replace them. And then this, and you're going to replace them and you get all stressed out. It's not worth it. But if you're not inviting people to the business, if you're not talking about it like a business, they don't see, wow, you know, her life has really changed. They have bought a new car. They have paid off their debt. They have paid a light bill. You know, they put their kids in soccer when they couldn't before, whatever it is. If you're not sharing that and inviting people into it, then they're never going to know. So it is your responsibility to invite people into the business. Um... So this is, yeah, just two more slides. So setting your preferred placement. Once you want um, to sign up your next coach, where would Jen place her next coach? So Jen's coaches are Jason Kennedy and Alexander Eagle. Which spot would she place her next coach? Does everybody understand this genealogy and where to place coaches? If you don't, you can unmute and we can talk. Yes, good. We all understand. Okay. So she would place her next coach in spot five. You never, 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 never want to place coaches on the inside legs. 
Never. You always want to build far and wide. Then everybody else grows far and wide and the outside keeps on growing, growing, growing. If you put somebody, say, in spot number one or number two or number three, and that person above them never builds the business, then they're stuck there forever. They can never move unless they quit and um, re actually, no, they can't because even if you quit and re-sign up, you have to go in the same spot. Unless they quit, wait six months, then you can switch them to a different side of the leg. Um, so you never want to place coaches on the inside legs. You always want to place them on the outside legs. Um, now, there's a few different ways you can set your preferred placement. I prefer to click on the little arrows, like the little icon guys. Once you click on them, that guarantees them to go in that exact spot. Um, the top should say set preferred placement where the circle is, and then you click on the actual figurine of where you want your next coach to go in the graphical genealogy. Now, if you're signing up a coach, like Claire signed up John, which is her husband, and then she signed up Adele on the other leg. Now, she went to the furthest spot on the outside leg, even if it was at the bottom of Lauren. If Lauren was empty, she would go right there to the outside spot and click on that spot. Now, when she goes to place coach number three, you have to go back into, because your genealogy now will stay where Adele is. And now if you don't change a, your genealogy back to the other leg, then it's going to go under Adele's outside leg. So it'll keep growing on the outside leg. But once you're building to diamond, you want to build evenly. So you want to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until you get your eight coaches. Then once you hit diamond, then we can talk about a different strategy for you. But if you're not a diamond coach, you build evenly, left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg, all the way until you get to diamond. So make sure it's set to set preferred placement, never on automatic placement. And don't go um, to where it says right leg and left leg, business center one, position right. You can put right leg, um, right, left, weak leg, and I think it might say strong leg. Don't even mess with that. Because what happens is once you touch that, once you touch that um, where it says right leg, what happens is if you, the, see where it says placement ID. So placement ID is the person above them. So that would be John Leffer's coach ID number there. What happens is if you change that to say weak leg, it'll go to whatever coach ID number is right here. So if you don't make sure that John's coach ID number is right here, then it may go on the inside leg. It might go on the inside leg of John, or it might go on the inside leg of somebody else, or it might go in a total random spot, because sometimes it just kind of automatically pulls up people in that placement ID. So don't even mess with it at all. Just click on the little icons, and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until you get to dine. Good, understand? Does everybody understand placement and where you want your coaches to go? Yes? No, yes. Good, we're good. Yes? Yes, Marissa, thanks. Everybody else is just like a blank face. <laughs> okay. Um, so those are all the slides I had for you guys. Do you guys have any questions or anything you want me to go over again? Um, Oh, the kids are sleeping. Awesome. Hold on. How many... There we go. Okay. Now I can see you guys. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Um, when we were talking about spouses um, in order to go emerald, mm -hmm. um, I have, I put my husband where he's supposed to be. Okay. And it's to the point now where I can't afford two bags of Shakeology. Okay. Can I... I have enough, of, I have people to keep me emerald. If I cancel his Shakeology, can I just pay his fee to keep him as a coach? Is that, this, is that yeah. smart? Yeah, so you always want to pay the 1595 fee because you never want to lose that spot. Once you stop paying that 1595 fee, they're going to cancel him as a coach. So always okay. pay the 1595 fee. Like I said, if you cannot afford two bags of Shakeology, cancel the Shakeology. What you can do is you can move a customer order from your account into his account. So you would have them switch coaches 
to his email, to his coach ID and their PV, like if they're on Chicology Home Direct, or you can sell something if somebody's just buying a program, sell it under his account and that'll keep him active. But once you don't have a Home Direct on his account, you're just going to have to pay attention to his inactive and inactive inactive and active thing so every five weeks you have to have 50 pv under him for him to stay active even if i'm paying the the 15.95 fee you always have to pay the fee that keeps him as a coach okay. but to keep him active okay. to keep you emerald you can instead of you paying for shakeology it can be from from a customer also to keep him active okay yeah so what I, and then too, what, what the good thing about that is too, if you, so say you have a Shakeology customer on Home Direct, you have them switch coaches to your husband's account. And so you'll still receive the same commission, but now it'll go in your husband's, you know, commission and mm -hmm. you'll earn a bonus cycle on it too, because he's on your weak leg and that 90 PV earned you in bonus cycle. So not only are you earning a $32 commission under him, you're earning, a, or, I'm sorry, it'll be $14 if you're on um, you're on an extra $14 on that Shakeology order. So anything that is not, so, okay, so you want to hit Success Club in your account first. Mm -hmm. And anything after you hitting Success Club, do it through your husband's account because you earn the commission the same way. Then you'll start earning bonus cycles on all of that commission. All right, well, how do you have a conversation with people? Just have, like, just, what I would do is, Type like how, do, how do you have the conversation of, oh, I'm just going to put you under my husband's account? Like, that's what happened to me with Trisha. She signed me up under Steve. Right. And I have no clue, like, why or anything. So I would just Yeah, like, they oh. have no idea. I would just draft an email for them say, and just say, hey, I need you to switch to my husband's account. This is how you do it. Could you take a quick second and just both copy and paste this email and forward it to this address? In two minutes. Or going forward, if you don't have somebody to switch, if somebody's just like somebody say somebody's just buying the 21 day fix or just buying Shakeology and has already ordered it from you, just have them order it through your husband's account. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just instead of giving your stuff, like you would, if even if you're selling a, a challenge pack and you've already hit Success Club in your account and you need him to stay active, you just mm -hmm. do it as him, do it under his coach ID, his email, and you send it through him. And just say, it's my account, it's just under my husband's name. Okay. Yeah. But I have to do that every five months, you said? Every five weeks. So, like, when you go every into five, the, yeah. um, every five weeks. the sponsorship drill, drill down, you know how to do that in, the, in my business? Yeah. yeah. So, it, you know when people go red and when it says inactive? Mm -hmm. So, that means that their PV for the following week is not enough to keep them active. So you'll just have to watch his account. Every five weeks, you should see at least 50 PV to keep him active. And then too, like if something, um, so say like you, you had a customer, but they, they canceled or whatever, and you just, you need to keep him active because you want to stay at your rank, you could just order something under him. So you can order like a three-day refresh or, you know, yeah, I, anything yeah. extra that you buy, buy it through his account. Okay. Yeah, because the same thing, you're going to earn team volume on those purchases, even if they're for yourself, then you're getting a, a, a bonus cycle on all of that. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's just the $200 a month in Shakeology. Yeah. yeah. I've mean, I got like $1,000 worth of Shakeology packets sitting in my cupboard. Yeah. No, I we did too. And then what happens is once you replace him, so, you know, do you have another coach on that leg? Yes. How yeah. Right. So if you actually don't need him active, you can let him go inactive, but just never stop paying that fifty nine to five fee because you're gonna want that spot down the line. Okay. So yeah. as long as I have somebody under him to keep me emerald, I don't right. have to worry about No, him like once you get to diamond, like if you need that fourth coach and so say so you have three coaches and you need then I'll make him active. Then yeah. you'll make him active and then move somebody else. So like that's what I did. I had him, you know, I had Jose's account. Um, until I had enough people that I could let him go inactive. And then once I went to Diamond, I built him to Emerald. But then once I got another Emerald on that leg, if he fell out of Emerald, it didn't matter because I was still at the same rank. You know what I mean? Okay, but yeah. that spot is just another spot. It's like yourself duplicated. So like if you need to order something to get active or, you know, whatever, it's just another spot that you can control to grow your business. Yeah.
And you'll just want that spot down the line because that's another stream of income for you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. And as I said, like, I don't want anybody to feel like I have to keep two bags of Shakeology if I can't afford it. Don't, you know, just move a customer to him or sell something under him or cancel it if you have to, whatever, you know, I, I never want anybody to feel like, oh, I'm spending all this money. I have all the Shakeology. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's not, you know, because I don't want you to get, like, stressed out and be like, well, I have $1,000 worth of Shakeology. I'm not making this amount of money. I'm shelling this out every month. I can't, you know what I mean? Like, I, that's, that's exactly it. Like, that's exactly where I'm at right now. Right, and that's not worth it. So just, you know, keep it under you. And never cancel the Shakeology under you. Always make sure you have 90 PV, even if you change it to something else. Like, if you get, um, like, two three-day refreshes, it's 90 PV. Um, on Home Direct, yeah, and it's cheaper. I think it's ninety dollars instead of the ninety nine for Shakeology, um, because that'll affect your Success Club because you have to have ninety PV on Home Direct for Success Club. Yeah, I learned that yeah. way before. Right, yeah. right, exactly. So never cancel it under you, but under him, you can always change it or cancel it or switch to something else or order something. That's like um, like a just as, long as, just as long as his fees are paid. Yes, and I have somebody under him to keep my rank. I right. don't need to worry about. Yeah, no, mm -mm. Okay. no, because you're not gonna, you're not at a point where you want to build him to get the customer leads under him. You know what I mean? Right. Now that they have yeah. it so much, if you're not getting Success Club Five under you and Success Club Five under him, it's not worth it to build the leads. But eventually, what will happen is, since he's on your weak leg, you will start not only building the outside of your weak leg, you will start building his weak leg. So right. he will start getting bonus cycles, and that's why I said like he will get the bonus cycles and you all from the same amount of stuff that's being sold. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Anybody else have questions? Melissa, you had a question? No? Anybody else or anything you guys want to go over? All right, awesome. All right, well, I will stop the recording.